Now in this segment, we're going to teach you a little bit about anchor movement. Now anchor movement doesn't mean you know, you're going to go up physically, pick your anchor up, move them over, slide them around in their chair. It's movement between cameras or anything like that. Sometimes, you know, you will have options to where you're on your camera one, we'll say your safe shot, your head and shoulders, and you now have an OTS or an over-the-shoulder graphic shot coming up, which you've set up on your other camera. So, okay, your anchor's looking at this camera here, and what you're going to want to do is keep your fingers pointed, and of course, always let them know a couple stories ahead, you know, or any time that you can, that you're going to be turning them in a couple stories or, you know, next time, anything like that. So you want to have your hands up here next to the camera, obviously so they can see it. You want to make a big motion. You want to make yourself seen in this one. So you make a big motion, a big sweep, and you point to the next camera. So once again, you start on the camera that they're looking at. And of course they're always going to follow you and usually know that it's coming up. So you're going to want to make a big sweep and turn to the next. Like I was saying, you want to be big, animated, you want to be seen that time. Now, of course, there's obviously going to be other ways of doing it. So, of course, some anchors may like full hand movements. Others may only like fingers. Some just may like a little point. You know, it's something, like we were saying before, that you do have to work out with your anchors. So that way, you know what they like. And of course, they know what you're doing. And this is also something that, you know, you don't want to do too early. You want to let your director tell you when to do it. You don't want to tell your anchor to do it before your director's ready, otherwise it looks pretty weird.